Hi, my name is Leah Day, and welcome to this Light Up Your Life video cast. Today, I want to talk about hoarding your craft supplies. I am a really bad craft supply hoarder. I'm most especially on the crafts that I don't do a lot, like painting and spinning and knitting and crochet. I hoard a lot of yarn and a lot of paint, and I have it all. It's all there, but I just never do anything with it. And I never take the time, I never follow that impulse. You know, when you're kind of like, oh, I, you know, I'd really like to knit a scarf today. Or, you know, I have this idea in my head for this really pretty painting, but there's that idea and that impulse and you've got to chase it. You've got to follow it and like, all right, I'm going to go do that. I'm going to cook dinner and then I'm going to take an hour and, and make time for that and pull it all out and make a big mess, but who cares? I'm going to have some fun. But it, you know, that impulse has to be followed with action. When you ignore it, oh, I'm too tired and dinner's going to take forever. I've got to clean up, you know, and you make all those excuses. I mean, this is me. This is what I do. I make all these excuses and then I don't end up doing what I want to do. And so I'm then chasing after that impulse, like two or three weeks down the road. I'm like, finally, oh, okay, now I'll pull out the stuff. And I might not really even be in the mood for that project anymore or that, you know, I might have moved on and want to do some crochet instead. And, and I really think that this is one of those things that can become a habit and you've got to be careful about it. And my habit is instead of taking that time and following that impulse, I just go to the store and buy something new. So it's like, oh, well, I feel this impulse to paint, but instead of actually staying home and painting, I go to the store and buy more paint. You know, having tons of craft supplies does not make you creative. What makes you creative is actually putting paint to canvas and trying something out. But then there's always that fear of waste. Oh, I'm going to waste it. I'm going to mess it up. I'm going to mess that canvas up. I'm not, I'm not good at this. And the only way you're going to get good is by actually doing it. So this is my lesson to myself this week. And, and I hope that I've learned it pretty solidly. And that is to stop buying more stuff because I don't need more stuff. I don't need more paint. I need to just take more time to paint, to play with it, to have fun with it, to learn it, to figure it all out. I really don't know that much about drawing and painting. So it's a struggle for me to, to feel like I don't know what I'm doing. But I need to do that. I need to embrace that fear and sit down and just put paint to canvas and figure it out as I go. So here's a little picture that I started this week and um, you know just drew it and then put some gesso on top and then just covered it with acrylic paints. And it's not perfect and you know it certainly has been a progression um, throughout the week and it's been a lot of fun. I had some anxiety that, you know, I was going to mess up the canvas completely. And then I realized, you know, I can always cover this canvas up with white paint or gesso and start all over again. And if it's bad enough, I can, you know, make, buy some black gesso and cover it with that and go with a darker color instead. So ultimately, it doesn't matter what ends up coming out of it. I wanted to paint that picture and I have to follow that impulse and go do it and stop hoarding these supplies. I need to use them. So if you have been doing the same thing and you are very similar and you go and buy more stuff rather than use what you have, today pull something out. Follow an impulse. Pull something out and play. And don't worry about perfection. Don't worry about making mistakes and don't worry about wasting your supplies because it's not a waste. It's a fun creative journey and that's the point. I hope that this video has helped light up your life today. Make sure to subscribe to my videos so you don't miss out on any of the videos coming out weekly. Until next time, let's get moving. Let's try something new.